Hello and welcome back to another Ravenna Railfan 4070 HO scale review. Today we are reviewing the Bachman Norfolk Southern DCC Sound Equipped SD40-2 number 3430. Let's go ahead, pull it out, and see what we got. Okay, so opening our box. We have the engine itself there. You have the nose, of course, side, and the rear. What all do we have in the box besides the engine? It's basically your standard stuff. You have the DCC quick start guide. You have the uh, DCC on board instructions. And of course, within the instructions, you have the warranty. All right, let's get 3430 on the tracks and see how she looks. All right, now we have 3430 on the tracks. And my apologies, but I can't seem to find my normal reviewing pencil. So we're just going to have to substitute with one of my little maintenance screwdrivers, if you don't mind. Alright, let's dig into the review. You, of course, have the NS Stallion logo there on the front. Iron horse. Uh, yellow handrails. Nice stairs there. The very ends of them are striped. Not as noticeable of a snowplow as is on some of the other units, but the main frame hangs down low enough to act as one. Of course, your couplers. Builder plates back here. SD40-2 and NS. 3430, of course, is your number. Norfolk Southern logos. Warning labels there. Two number boards up top with the headlight in between and your horn then if we flip the engine around here again you have two number boards there the headlight above the NS horse head stallion logo uh, yellow handrails again the stairs are striped and again, the mainframe hangs down low enough to kind of look like a snowplow. Exhaust up here and all your fans. And one more thing I meant to point out on the front was, as is the case with my Jeeps. Sorry about that. Um, you do have a divider in the window and a divider in the cab to show that the side window can be opened and uh, has the prototypical divider in the front on things. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the engine. All right, so F1 is bell. F2 is Longhorn. F3 is Shorthorn. And both of those are accurate to the prototype 3430, which is indeed equipped with an RS5P. So, I didn't know if the model would have that or not. I assumed it would have the same decoder as my Jeep, but I am pleased that the horn is actually perfectly accurate. Uh, F4 is dynamic brake. F5 and 6 don't do anything. F7, uh, well, you know, let me skip ahead to F10, which the headlight, to show you F7, which is the dimmer. And notice the number boards are not lit, but the light of the headlight just barely seeps through the edges of them. There's the dimmer again. F8, of course, is mute. And F9 doesn't do anything. 
So that's all your functions for this locomotive. Let's go ahead and turn the sound back on and then we are going to run back for our cars here. Oh, I'm forgetting all kinds of things, aren't I? I forgot to do the light engine run, so we're going to actually go ahead and do that before we get the cars. Alright, now we'll go get the cars. Very smooth, low speed movement, and it easily transitions to speed steps. Having no problem whatsoever with this train. Well, that just about wraps it up for this review. Hope you've enjoyed, and see you next time when we will be reviewing the Bachman HO Scale Nickel Plate Road 765. The Venereal Fan 4070 is out of here.